eBay sellers are using these hacks for them to rise higher in the eBay search results and that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching you in today's video. Let's go. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks when it comes to making money online. But in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going through a couple things that you guys can try if you want to beat the eBay algorithm and rise higher in the search results. I'm going to go through the things that I personally do that have allowed me to build a business that has enabled me to leave my full-time job. You're definitely going to get a lot of value out of this video and as always, I don't want to waste any time. I want to jump straight into it. If you find any value in the video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well, hit the bell notification. Let's jump straight into the video. So first and foremost, what is the definition of an algorithm? So for you to even be able to beat the eBay algorithm, you need to know exactly what the definition of one is. And to me, I believe that it's eBay's way of identifying exactly what the product is. Now, because there's so many different listings and there's so many different people that are listing products on eBay on a daily basis, there's no way that someone can sit there manually double checking exactly what the product that you've just listed actually is. So eBay has to use software for them to scan through all of the different listings that are being published on eBay every single day for them to know exactly how to rank it whenever someone types in a specific keyword into the search bar. Websites like Google and YouTube have the exact same thing. Whenever someone goes onto any one of these websites and types something into the search bar, the results that show up need to reflect exactly what the person is searching for. So now that you have somewhat of an understanding of how the eBay search results work, you obviously need to make sure that people are searching for that product. You need to also make sure that money is being spent on that product. And most importantly, you need to make sure that the data for the product that you're looking to sell is going in an upwards direction. And the way that you can double check all of this information is by jumping onto your eBay account, going onto the research tab just like this and going on to therapy and from here you're going to be able to research all the data that you need to when it comes to finding out whether or not you're selling the right product so for example i've just typed in beach chair and i've set the date range to the last 365 days because i want to see the data for the last year i want to see whether or not the trend is going in an upwards direction or a downwards one and the way that you're going to check that is by scrolling down and coming to this graph right here and you're going to select this option right there and as you can see from march 2021 there was around 50 beach chairs that was being sold per day and as you can see the trend went all the way up in July 2021 where there was 231 beach chairs that was being sold every single day however now the trend has gone all the way back down now this could be due to a number of reasons it could be due to the fact that this product is a seasonal one and not that many people are going to be buying beach chairs right now because it's winter time so once we start to approach summertime once again we might notice that the trend might reverse back in an upwards direction. So even if you apply all of the techniques that I'm gonna go through in this video so that you can rise higher in the eBay search results, it might not make any difference if people are not searching for the product, then even if you do the things to beat the eBay algorithm, it might not make any difference at all to your listing. So to give you an example of a product that is going in an upwards direction, just to give you a visual example of what type of product you should be looking out for. So I've just jumped back over to Tether Peak and I've typed in vape pen. If we just scroll down to the graph, we can see that in March last year, there was around 1,300 that was being sold every single day but slowly we can see that there's now around 3,000 different vape pens that are being sold every single day the trend did drop a little bit in December but that's common with most e-commerce products that are being sold on the internet you're gonna notice that around December time Christmas time New Year's time sales are gonna slightly dip because not that many people are shopping online so even with the products that I sell in my experience over the past few years every single time in December the sales always drop but if you want to have a better chance of rising in the eBay search results it'll be better for you to focus on selling a product similar to this where there's multiple units that are being sold every single day and the trend is going up instead of down because that means that there's more people searching for that product which means it's going to be a little bit easier for you to now beat the ebay algorithm all right so jumping into some of the things that you need to be aware of if you do want to have a better chance of making sales and being at the top of the search results so i've just jumped onto ebay and i've typed in vape pen and we're going to look at the first one that isn't necessarily sponsored so i'm going to click on this one right here so what i'm going to do with this particular listing is start from top to bottom and go through a couple of things that they've done that i also do with my listings that have enabled me to make a few more sales. So let's start with the fact that they're using a subtitle. So you don't necessarily need to use a subtitle because it costs around two pounds 40p every single month. Whenever your listing renews, you're gonna be charged two pound and 40p if you do use a subtitle on your listing. But the benefit of using a subtitle is that not only are you gonna get pushed to the top due to the fact that you're giving eBay extra revenue, I found in my own experience is that whenever I give eBay extra money for a premium service, they're more likely to push the listing to the top because they're now going to rely on that income. Now this is just my own theory and it doesn't work all the time with all of my listings, but I do notice an increase in ranking when it comes to me using something like a subtitle. In addition to that, you're also gonna be able to give the customer a quick snapshot of exactly what they can expect 
select with this product because if we jump back over to the search results we can see that the subtitle appears right there so customers are able to know straight away that if they buy three of them they're going to be able to get one for free and if they buy eight they're going to get three for free wholesale prices etc etc customers are going to be able to know all of this information before they even click into the listing and the more you can get customers to click into your listing and actually make a purchase the more ebay is going to show your listing to more people now it goes without saying one of the most important things when it comes to ebay knowing what your product is is with the title so i'm not really too familiar on vape pens because i don't use one myself so i'm not too sure on what keywords you should use if you do plan on selling vape pens but i'm sure that majority of these words that are here are keywords and it's also helped them rise higher words like disposable vape pen kit 20 milligrams two percent nicotine bulk fast and free these are keywords that people are typing in and that's why it's very important for you to know exactly what keywords customers are typing in and make sure you put it in your title now moving on to their picture i can see that on the side over here they've used multiple different pictures when it came to them listing their product when it comes to you listing your products ebay gives you between 1 to 12 images that you're allowed to use the mistake that most people make is that they use just one image or two images but i've noticed that in my own experience whenever i use around nine images 10 images or even 12 images my listings get pushed to the top of the search results i always try to use as many images as possible and this is due to the fact that ebay's algorithm likes it when you give the customer more images to look at because they know that the customer is more likely to buy so scrolling down slightly to this section right here this section right here is called the item specifics again it's very important to make sure that you put as many keywords that are related to your product in this section we can see that they've put the brand name elux right there we can also see that they've used the word disposable right there disposable again right there again disposable so i'm guessing disposable is a strong keyword when it comes to this product scrolling down a little bit more this is where the actual listing begins so we can see that they're using a listing template so again this is just one of my theories but I've noticed that whenever I use a custom listing template with my listings, I get pushed to the top of the search results. And I'm not sure on the exact reason of this, maybe due to the fact that eBay knows that it's gonna look a little bit more professional and customers are more likely to buy if everything is laid out in a professional way. I'm sure that if you was probably looking to buy a vape, you'll probably buy from this company because they've got their logo right there. Scrolling down just a little bit more, we can see that they've got this section right here where it says, why choose us? And they've got 100% original products, 100% satisfaction guaranteed, fast shipping. All of these little things that they're doing can psychologically make any potential customer want to buy from them rather than someone else but the most important thing that they've done with their listing is use keywords throughout their listing again straight away i can see the word disposable i can see the brand name of the vape pen again and throughout their entire listing they've used multiple different keywords so that ebay knows exactly what this product is so that they can show it to the right people but one of the most important things that you need to remember when you're trying to get your listing ranked on ebay is that it's one thing to get shown to customers but it's another thing for them to now click in and actually buy the item eBay is more likely to show your listing to more and more customers if customers actually click and buy rather than them clicking and then bouncing off. So even though you're going to do all of the eBay SEO research and use the right keywords for whatever product you're selling, it's more important for you to remember that the aim of the game is to obviously get customers to buy, not only so that you can make a sale, but also so that eBay can see that someone clicked into your listing and they purchased it. Because once that happens, eBay is more likely to show it to more people, which means that you're going to be able to make money on a continuous long-term basis. And a few ways that you can secure the sale is by ensuring that you put as much information about the product as possible. I'm sure that you can agree with me, but whenever I'm looking for a product to buy, whether I'm trying to buy one on eBay, Amazon, wherever, I like to make sure that I've got a lot of information about the product so that I can make a decision right there and then. So you shouldn't just have the mindset of trying to put keywords so that you can rank in the search results. You should also have the mindset of putting information so that the customer knows exactly what the product is so that they can buy it without having to think about it too much. But it's also important for you to make sure that you put as much information about the product so the customer knows exactly what it is so that they don't have to waste time messaging you and asking you specific questions. What I like to do is that whenever I get a question about whatever product I'm selling, maybe because I haven't made it clear enough within the actual listing, I like to add that question within the listing somehow so that customers don't have to waste five, 10 minutes typing out a message to me and they can just buy the item straight away. I've got another video that I made recently where I break down what you need to know if you're still trying to make your first 1,000 pound or $1,000 in profit on eBay. A lot of people enjoyed that video. I got a lot of good feedback. You can check it out by clicking right there. If you enjoyed this video, then you're definitely going to enjoy that one. And it's gonna give you a little bit more information when it comes to exactly what type of products you should be selling and some of the most important things you need to know when it comes to making your first 1,000 pound or $1,000 in profit as a beginner. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step understanding of everything you need to know about building a business on eBay in 2022, then you can check out projecteBay.com because for the past two years, I've spent countless amounts of hours building out this step-by-step -step program for anyone out there that wants an A to Z 
understanding of what they need to know when it comes to selling on eBay. So you can check that out by clicking the first link in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.